questions and then I'm gonna break most of this stuff down. Ron, what is, questions? Like, is everybody is everybody in the, in the group already making money? Am I like oh, the only person that has it? Ron, how long you been in the game and how, are you making money or not? Yeah, yeah, I'm making money. You yeah, making I'm making money? money in what? A month? A month? <laughs> wow. <laughs> was, yeah, it was like a month. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. Hell just, yeah. You know. <laughs> Yeah, following what Roots is. Yeah, I mean, you know, and, you know, it's just like he's saying, you know, it's not like a get-rich-quick scheme and, oh, yeah, I'm, you know, making millions. But, yeah, I'm definitely seeing, like, cash, yeah, cash come in, you know, and, uh, you know, airdrops come in and, you know, rewards. And then all of a sudden you're seeing, like, those rewards start to compound or or definitely when you get into the compound, um, uh, the lending platform, you know, you put some money there. All of a sudden, like, you get a visual right there of, like, you see your money growing, you know. And, uh, you know, like I said, it's a few, you know, whatever, but, you know, I'm looking hey, at But that. you've been, been in a month. Right. That's yeah, what it matters. That's been what it matters. Month, man. You've been in a month. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But in that month, it's it's following roots. <laughs> you know, like, it's not a month. It's like, oh, okay, cool. Roots, that's cool. It's like, all right, he says, yeah, this and this. Then he's like, all right, you, you go and do it. You know, you go, yeah, you know, you is. go and Ron, do Ron what he He's, he's able and willing to spend the gas fees to get the, this investments done. So yes, he's spending high gas fees, but he's seeing a return on his investment that makes up for the yeah. gas fees. So yeah, it's, it's a personal strategy. It's not me telling you to do something. I'm just letting you know certain things are available. It's working for me and you should get in as early as possible. And we have to understand these APYs drop down, right? So if you see something at 400%, well, you got to understand there's only a certain amount of money set aside. Otherwise, it would be a scam, right? So when you have these different pools, there's only so much water in the pool. It's not just an endless flow of it. Otherwise, the pool would overflow, right? So um, the money set aside for the pool, right? Some of these farms. So And so that's what makes the APY so high is when there's very little liquidity in there. So you're going to be getting most of the rewards. But as more people find out that's where the money's at, that's when your portion of the pool gets diluted and the APY drops down. So you're going to see 500% to 200%. Same thing with Badger. As soon as everybody, everybody, everybody realizes Badger's popping off, then that's where all the money goes and your, your return on investment goes down because the money has to get stretched smaller and smaller and smaller people. I mean, it, more and more people. So that's one thing to understand is you want to be in on these pools as early and as long as possible to get the most out of the pool because and these pools don't last long. Some of them, some of these liquidity mining programs last anywhere from two weeks to a couple months, you know? So you want to always write that down is ask, find out how long the, the liquidity mining program is, the yield farming program is, because it just doesn't last forever. That doesn't work, right? And they, it's not an infinite amount of funds that last. No, that's that would more likely be a scam. So there you go. That's one thing to people realize like, oh, they so stuck on an APY. And then it's like, no, that's variable interest rate, bro. That goes up and goes down. And you need to know why it goes up and goes down. Right. So if you go into a pool, right, 500% APY, right. And then you in the pool and it starts to go down. Well, that's basic economics, right? It's basic economics. Money goes down. But if you stay in a pool and all of a sudden it goes back up, well, that means everybody's pulling their money out of the pool and you're getting most of the money. Why would people pull their money out of the pool and you just be okay? No, you got to realize that something happened and this one currency is no longer valuable. And you're going to be like, hey, I'm getting my APYs. Well, you're getting an APY, large APY of a coin that's going down and down and fast. So if people pull their money out of the pool, right, you better be like, oh, should I pull my money out too? What the hell is up? What's going on? Right? So that's how you can kind of catch on to some things. Uh, Dow Jones. Dow Jones, have you been making money since you started the Crypto Roots Mentorship? Yes, sir. How much is that Absolutely. unique airdrop worth now? <laughs> Shit. 8K? $8,000, bro. I'm jealous. <laughs> yeah, I've been, been farming it too. Yeah, bro. This dude is, is, he got that free money from just using Uniswap once. This shit's worth once. About- 8k like in putting that money to work uh in so many different ways i'm jealous congratulations i still got like half <laughs> hey, who knew? But yeah you got a lot more than me and that's that congratulations so uh let's can let's continue on that route of success now yep. um, love it 
Yeah. All right. So what questions do you have, Dow Jones? Uh, you kind of just touched on one a second ago, actually. It was concerning um, liquidity pool and farming opportunity durations. Um, okay. Okay. Now on Zapper, uh, on Zapper dot five the other day, I saw under YFI that the rewards had finished, uh, and it said unstake. And I didn't know if that was due to, uh, I didn't know if I should unstake it. Cause is that, is that only okay. the for, LP for token? Platform? Uh, it was Zapper.Fi. I staked. Uh, I provided liquidity in the Uniswap ETH pool. Okay. Um, okay. And what did it say? Yeah. Uh, so then on Zapper.Fi, it said unstake, a reward duration finished or something. I forget how it was worded. Um, yeah. So that's, so I personally don't use Zapper.Fi. Not, not saying that you shouldn't, but it's best that if you want to, if you're confused, then do it manually. And what that means is literally just go to Uniswap. Click accounts on the left hand side, go to your saved accounts. And what you can, we can remove all your liquidity from the pool, right? Because that's all you're going to do. You're not getting an additional token with Uniswap. So when they say unstake, okay. you're pretty much removing your liquidity from the pool. Okay, that's all out. Like you're out of the pool completely. Well, I don't know if Zapper.fi gives you the percentage the way Uniswap does. Uniswap gives okay. you how much liquidity? 25, 50, 75%, or 100% you want to remove, right? So if, yep. um, the thing about Zapify that's good is that you can add one side of liquidity. So instead of having to add ETH and UNI, like the way you have to do on Uniswap, when you have to add both, uh, what Zapper.Fi, they take it and they sell it for the other half and then invest it for you. So okay. they're doing behind, they're just doing the work behind the scenes. So there, there, there are some benefits, but essentially what stake now is open up CoinGecko Coin and go to stake down. 